So I'm just going to say this here. I know a lot of people who are not even part of our community would like me to comment on the reasons why I decided to speak my truth um, to my tribe on Patreon. Well, number one is because I'm a podcaster. Okay. I've chosen to share my life for the last six years, shared the ugly parts, the good parts, the uncomfortable parts, the parts of which I'm embarrassed about. And to be honest, this was embarrassing for me. Mm. I chose to move forward in something that I knew in my better judgment I shouldn't have. However, that does not negate the fact that this man was disrespectful to me, that he had the audacity to speak to me this way. Whether you believe me or not is not really my problem because the reason for my sharing was not for you. It was for women. It was for women who have long, long, for so long, silenced themselves in situations like this and questioned their better judgment. It's not a crusade. It is not a crusade against this man. However, Mm. in order for me to do the work and say that I'm part of the process of uh, lifting the veil and allowing women to heal the wounds of the past and the present, Okay, there's a level of vulnerability and honesty that I have agreed to. Now, when you ask me on your show, you are also stepping into that frequency. So you need to come correct. You need to come respectful. Or guess what? I'm a tell. <laughs> now, that's the part I wanted to get said, to. I'm a tell. Um, for those who do not know, and we'll play the response. Um, good moms, bad choices. One of our most viral clips. One of our most viral clips. When we stitched them. Um, Used to follow. Not sure if they still do. Who knows, man? Sometimes, Sometimes I say something and people get mad. And get us blocked. <laughs> Photographers don't like me and podcasters don't like Mike. Interesting. Um, and she went to so the 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 issues is she went on Joe Budden, um, and Joe Budden went on their podcast. It seemed like a swap. Yeah. Joe, well, I think that was an old pod. So that was an old. That was an old okay, episode. Cool. But they were on his episode last week, like two weeks ago. At, yeah, at yeah the most. on the fifteenth, and, and it's the second. something transpired between Joe and. Uh, Erica, I believe her name was Erica. So uh, according to her, she was going out. She was go- going to the. They always take pictures on a balcony um, with their guests, and always whoever the guest is is always in the middle beside Joe. Yeah. That's male, if, male or female. Yeah. Um, and so she said she wasn't for sure where to stand, and she said everybody was joking, blah blah blah. And he said, "Don't don't don't mess around and get fucked." Yeah. And she said it threw her off. And that's kind of what it was. Now, when me and Mike first discussed this, I told Mike, I, in full transparency, I said, yo, that's fucked up because he, he does say that. Um, he said it on podcast before. Yeah. He said it to female guests on the podcast before. And I want to be very clear. He hasn't never, he has never said, yo, don't fuck around and get fucked. He has made the joke. I told her such and such, or she has made the joke. Yeah. Um, which gets me to this situation before we get to the nitty gritty of what really happened um, or allegedly what their response was. So I just finished Joe Budden's podcast from Saturday and they did not talk about it. They get in the, I'm in the last two minutes and yeah. they are talking about they want to. And Joe is like, no, nah, I'm not giving them, which we know who's talking yeah. about, no space. And this came right after. Yeah. So um, and uh, but they did discuss it on Patreon. But I do want to get to this part of. As men, how do we, men have to learn how to navigate with women and the women that you look at as homegirls. Yeah, so. And now this is like the unsafe space. This is the problem. And I I said this on uh, Charlotte Axel's post um, this week. Stop inviting everybody to the damn cookout and yeah. then getting mad when they start exposing what goes on to the cookout. Because I have homegirls yeah. who I can make sex jokes to. Or how they look jokes. Um, none of them is ever going to come out and say I sexually harass them. Because that's what it sounds like she's trying to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, knock, knock on wood because it, it might be a dollar amount, right? Like, And I'm not saying that she's going to sue Joe or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But... It, and there's layers here, and I and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the layers because part of it is like they think that you know that she's upset because they didn't promo yeah the pod or whatever. So with that being said, um, you know in 2020s forward, I think as men we got to understand that there there's not a lot of safe spaces where you can really have locker room talk. Facts. Now, I think a conversation is due 
on whether or not that's something that's needed, right? Mm-hmm. Like, do men need a space where it's like, yo, we can we just kind of just say what we want and it's free, right? Like, we have a group chat. It's about seven people in that group chat. Mm-hmm. It, it flies off in there, right? If something got out from that group chat, though, we know that it's one of these seven people, right? Facts. But the 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 fabric of trust would be destroyed, right? Until we find out who it is. Mm-hmm. And then that person would get excluded and then it'll come back together. Most of us are in different group chats like that where things are, things are popping off. Yeah. But... When it comes to like, what was I guess my point is outside of what Joe said, what was his mistake here? Like, what was the mistake? Was the mistake inviting on a uh, I hate calling him a sexual risque pod, but I don't I don't listen to him as much as I used to. But that seems to be what it is, bro. I think his mistake was stop being friendly with all these people. They not your friends, yo. Yeah, like, and I I I feel bad in saying that. Like, you've met my friend Tequila. Yeah. I make certain jokes with her that I cannot make with the mother of your child. Yeah, absolutely. Right. right. Um, I, I, you've, um, my homegirl Sierra, she sent in questions. She's mad cool. Me and her have conversations that I cannot have with your sister. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's different things. Um, but sometimes you get too comfortable and you start thinking that, yo, and let's be clear, flip Imani. Mike don't know all these people. But I do. I, I, know, I know a little bit. I know a little so, bit. Um, I'm, in a, I'm in a Joe Budden pod group on and, Twitter. And he is. <laughs> that is the joke about this because I'm not in it. But Mike is. And so you got Ice there. You got Ish. Two people who have known Joe Joe for decades. Yeah. Who really like Ish is the one, the light skinned brother who um, I should have called him biracial just to get clicks. Um, but he's not biracial. <laughs> I know that's the one that's marrying the um the non black woman, right? Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. They got into it about the girl situation that blew yeah. up. Um, and so anyway, he gives Joe the most pushback. Ice is team yo. When it comes to women, I am treading softly. I am not going to be misquoted for any community, yeah. right? Parks is always politically correct. You know what I'm saying? And Flip is like how he was there. <laughs> he gives it up. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, and Joe's not there, and Imani's there, and Imani was like, well, no, I had conversations with these ladies, and I'm gonna be clear, and they might be the man in me. I believe these dudes, and the reason why I believe these dudes because I've been a guy who have made jokes and who has it's been taken out of context, and the way they explained it makes sense. Hey, we're on the balcony. You're coming out here. You are twerking. You are being funny. You're trying to, and this is what women have to stop doing. Stop trying to be one of the guys, uh, right? Because when you get one of the guys and at men, you got to stop being so comfortable with these ladies. Start thinking that they, hey, they one of the guys. They can take the joke. Yeah. I, so when yeah, you twerking, I think, yeah, that's, and that's I look at you, I can understand why Joe's like, all right, you about to stop shaking your ass. You are gonna fuck around and get fucked. And I and I, I can I, see it. And I and I need I need I need more context. I just think I painted the story. Yeah, you now, did. You, you, now you, it makes sense. You, you 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 definitely painted the story, but that's not what she's saying, right? Yeah, because now I, I got to take out the part yeah, of me yeah. playing. She got she got she got to take out what she did, right? Mm-hmm. Right? If she did that, right? If and one, she did, and one of the th- and one of the things that she did say is, you know, we we as men we don't get to determine how fast or slow they process. You know their trauma. I don't. Trauma. I don't think this is trauma. But and again, I'm not speaking of her. Facts. I'm just saying. I just don't think if you're taking pictures on and no one touches you, I don't. I don't think it's traumatic or threatens your life. I don't think it's traumatic. Um, so I think we throw that word out too much. Now, with all that being said, first point you made, I think yo, as men, we got to stop thinking that all women are our, are our homegirls. Mm-hmm. And two, like I, I think this. I think this goes back to the biggest part. And a lot of us make this mistake, man. You cannot. You cannot shit where you eat, bro. Facts. Yeah, and and, and look, I, I get it, right? Because you, you met your wife at work. Mm-hmm. I definitely, you know, in and working in the call center where that's all you do, right? Yeah. So it's like I know I know it's harder to do than not to do. But one thing that I am adamant on is like, yo, once money's involved, the sex is off the table. Yeah, like the sex is off the table once the money is involved, and. I think Joe bringing them on. I think I think the familiar, you know, him being familiar with them, being on the pod prior. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much they talk. Um, their 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 pod is very very flirtatious. Um, mm-hmm. is the way I would see it. Uh, so maybe not call it sexual, but it's very flirtatious. I could definitely see Joe making that mistake. But at this point, you know, what could he say, right? Because if he doesn't, if he if he doesn't if he doesn't believe he done anything. But he apologizes because he was like, yo, I made you feel away. 
that just opens him up to to even more criticism, right? Yeah. And if he and if he actually did not do anything, and this is just being lobbed, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's it's a reach. You know, like uh, Carly Russell, like mm-hmm. Brick Lady, like uh, whatever we're forgetting about right now, and it's just you know, it's just being lobbed. You know, then he's actually suffering, right? He's actually the victim. Yeah. So and, you know, it's just interesting, dude, because. I didn't even get into the whole thing of, hey, I wanted the episode to drop on this day. It didn't. So now I'm upset. So now I share this information. Um, and, I, and I heard that. I'm like, yo, it, it can't be that petty. It, sometimes I think, <sighs> bro, maybe. But I think when you grasping for something and you hot. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was listening to the episode when Imani told Joe, yo, you know, Erica mad at you now we didn't know who he was I they didn't say Erica from X Y and Z yeah and but yeah I'm sorry sis if I got a Candace Owens interview and I got your interview I think I know which one I'm dropping first well I gotta I gotta keep clipping the one that's, that's hot and as yeah. we just found out Candace Owens is trending she right? is trending she it's, is hot so, so it kind of it kind of put that back but to be that upset to then say well I feel like you said something that's that's completely out of the way uh, I mean, I, I I think as men, like, yo, we we got to stop shitting where we eat for one. Yeah, and you know, I know it's like, yo, we we have to be careful with our words. How careful do you have to be? I don't know because I mean, you can say the sky is blue and somebody's going to be offended. You know, mm-hmm. I'm allergic to the color blue. How dare you? So yeah. it, it 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 doesn't matter. But I definitely think that <sighs> outside of being ultra professional, I don't know. I don't know how he avoids this. And I get being. You're around somebody for a little bit, and then you say, "All right, I'm. A, I'm. A, we're gonna start having locker room talk." Yeah, and well, for me, it's like this is the opportunity where you learn that hard lesson of everybody ain't my friend. Yeah, and I found it interesting that he said this last podcast. He's done talking to podcasters. Figure the shit out on your own, because <laughs> um, and it made sense until because me and you've been sending these it it made sense because as soon as I got done with the podcast yeah. ironically this morning you know which is unusual for me um sis posted this on her story and I'm like oh this is what he talking about yeah and you know because it is one of them things like I've been there where you talking to a girl and you say something and mind you I had to learn this lesson super early because I'm a photographer yeah and you have women that are in front of you vulnerable naked yeah both right <laughs> yeah i don't get to say yo you got some nice areolas yo no nah, i don't nah. get you can't yeah, say you that can't, you can't say that i can't say yo your camel toe is fat i can, it's certain shit i just can't make yeah. jokes about even if i'm joking you can't say it you know even as a joke because of how that might be processed later down the road Bro, i have a i know a photographer right now i have um a mom who showed me and this nigga used to come on my podcast. She showed me how he was saying sexual things to her pregnant. Mm. And she's like, yo, he's lucky I don't want to ruin him feeding his kids. Yeah. Because I've seen the comments. They nasty. And, and here's the thing, right? He's lucky now, but, I mean, 10 years from now. Again, oh, right? She could drop it whenever. Yeah. I mean, Shit, how, I got him. however they want to you know, Talk process crazy, that. Nigga. And it's like, that, and that's something that I think as men we got to understand. It's like we... We don't get to dictate how they feel once it's said. And, of course, it, there's an imbalance, right? All of us have saw the meme where it's, like, the, the young, good-looking guy with all the muscles and then the old, fat, black guy with the gray hair. Mm-hmm. And they both say, hey, you look nice in that dress. Or, you you know, I like that I, I like the way that dress look. Mm-hmm. And they'll just, like, compliment, right? Yeah. Sexual harassment. Predator. <laughs> um, so... Be careful, fellas. Be careful, man. Don't don't. I, I guess we we went through all that to kind of be like, yo, man. Just hey, don't don't poop where you eat, bro. That's yeah. A- um, the kids found out that MTV Cribs was fake. That was that was hilarious. But you know what? I'm glad it came out because that's what the internet is. Instagram is fake. Instagram is like MTV Cribs for everybody. Facts. And what you see on social media is not real. But the fact that MTV went that far and made people rent. Houses mm-hmm. like they, they went. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I saw clips from the Yin Yang Twins, Bro. and like now it makes so much it, sense. It does, make you know, sense when though. you watch it because they're like, "Yo, they in the house for the first time." Bro, 
<laughs> like they were showing like the dude with the like yo, we got an aquarium here and a boat. <laughs> Bro. I'm just like yo, it's not their house. Like all the all of it makes sense now. Red Man episode makes way more sense now. <laughs> yeah, it may you know, Red Man Red Man was the one who let me know that it was fake. Yeah. Because when he got on there, he's like, yo, I told y'all y'all gotta come to my real house. And I was like, why would he say that? Yeah. I'm like, why do we everybody got the same white Bentley outside, right? Why do why do nobody why n- there's no family pictures on anybody's walls? You know, and then nah, of course my dad. Like yeah, of course my dad, who's the biggest hater of all time, he used to love, you know, ruining stuff for me, <laughs> right? So I remember the first time my dad told me wrestling was fake and I, I wanted to cry. <laughs> And I said, ain't no way. And I don't, I haven't watched wrestling since then. Um, but yeah, the kids finding that out is hilarious. I mean, when they found out that Pimp My Ride was fake, that was great as well. Um, it, it's almost like social media and television and entertainment in general tends to be fake. Do I get to do it? Do I get to trash podcasts? Y'all podcast is fake. When y'all stop paying for the views, the likes, the the promotion, when they when the when the lights is off, how do you deal with yourself? Yeah. Cause I'm watching it. I'm watching a lot of podcasts and dog. Good moms, bad choices. The reason why they're not on a they're on a hiatus at this moment. They are going to Patreon only until they start their new season. We it's gonna be interesting to see what brands how mm. they feel about that, especially when you're going through this. Um when you're trying to get people to sign up for your Patreon, it is a great way of doing it. Say, hey, we're going to respond to the biggest black podcast only on our Patreon. Man, I don't understand why y'all don't go to YouTube and just do super chats. I mean, which is what we need to do, to be honest. Well, you were supposed to work on something I this weekend. I, I, I did work on it this weekend. I worked on a little bit. Coming soon. <laughs> for our third anniversary. Look, man. <laughs> but it is it's, it's interesting, man. Like, when y'all stop doing it, when you can't reach in black culture and just steal. Right? Yeah, now that 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 that's the thing right there. What happens? That's the thing. Like I love they tore and I thought it was a great tiny desk, but they tore uh Justin Timberlake up on his tiny desk. They said, damn, he ain't even singing. He got the black people even clearly <laughs> singing for his ass. And we know it. But you know, and that's no shot at him, even though it was a shot. But yeah. it's like one of those things, like, what are we doing? Like, are we there? Like, is this yo, it is fake. A lot of this stuff is fake. I watch some big podcasters go on a dude's podcast and Yo, they got three, four thousand listeners, three or four thousand followers. I'm like, damn, we contacted the same people. They ain't respond back, yeah, but I'm yeah, like, yo, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. But but I know brown bag money when I yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you you, you got to pay it. And, and <laughs> one of the biggest things that I that I took from MTV MTV Krills being fake is a lot of what y'all see on Instagram is fake, man. Like especially. I even when I see people that post like inspirational stuff all the time, man, like they like being shambles, bro. And I'd be like, it's almost it almost hurt my heart now because most people aren't really genuine. They're not really feeling what they're talking about. They're trying to fill a void of where they think the clicks and the likes are. Mm. Um, I want to welcome everybody. So speaking of filling a void for clicks and likes, who knew you got the victory? I know I took some week off as the deacon, and I apologize to some of y'all. Hold on. But we are back with the church announcements. I am super excited. My mom even hit me up last night and said, where are the announcements? <laughs> I want to welcome everybody to the congregation. Please feel free to donate. Um, dollar sign Black Dad's Club. Is that it? Yeah. Dollar sign Black Dad's Club. Please, 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 please. Um, all right, man. Here we go. Um. Mike never knows what I'm about to get to in these. Oh, we forgot to play Ish Response. 